for videos of entertainment only, all source materials might be from the public domain and comply with USA Fair Use and UK Fair Dealing guidelines. Hi everyone, Kelt News here. Hope you've all had a great Christmas, um, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Things that have grabbed my attention over the past day or two. Firstly, the Victoria Harbour Cats saying, We were honoured the other day when the royal couple Harry and Meghan popped in to grab a couple of hats during their stay in the region. Rumour has it they will return to throw out first pitch on June the 5th, 2020. Rumour also has it that they are the only people in the world that have phones that do not take photographs. Here's another story. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are spending the holidays in Vancouver Island in Canada with son Archie. When their security team reached out to a local restaurant for a reservation, the royals were turned down. That's interesting because they didn't. The restaurant owner said that it's fake news, there was no reservation, there was no booking, and that they were not turned away because they didn't even book. So no one's seen them. And they've also gone hiking in the depths of winter in Canada. Makes no sense. They've also been jogging, but no one's seen them. And as far as I know, Her Majesty has not been asking to see Archie or asking for them to come to see Prince Philip. In fact, quite the reverse. She she actually wanted them away for six weeks or even longer. And the article about their them being set to expand their Sussex royal brand. The Daily Mail says talks about Meghan, the possibility that Meghan could start up her own newspaper, and talk of her having an empire. And uh, it does go. It does take you back to the engagement interview where they looked very knowingly at each other and talked about um, affecting the Commonwealth youth. And interesting to note that the one time that Harry put the press out of a meeting was to do with the youth. It would make me want to keep any children or, or grandchildren away from any youth initiative that he might or she might be involved with. It's also very interesting that these people um, almost worship the couple so the Daily Mail talks about all the merching. It's all out for every, there for everybody to see. Could Meghan Markle start her own newspaper? Duchess plans to turn her Sussex royal brand into a global empire as she trademarks the title on dozens of products, including emotional support services, clothing and magazines. I can see, I, I can imagine that this would really hack off these county of Sussex, the people of Sussex using that name and they haven't really helped them. They were invited to plant a tree there and they didn't go. Also the Queen's speech, people were saying how interesting it was that she she actually did mention moon bump, albeit in two separate sentences. She talked about the moon landing and she talked about it being a bumpy year. So it was just so nice to to see that William didn't actually need to wear a scarf this time. The only one really looking at the camera was Edo, and I think he's pretty harmless. Compared to the other camera-seeking heat missile, I think he's, I think, pretty harmless. So, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.